Hey everyone, I recently sold 11 more Lego sets and I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. With these 11 more sets sold, I think I'm up to 30 or so in the last couple of months. In this batch, my returns on investment range from a whopping 33% to a respectable 158%. But most of what I sold in this batch are gifts with purchase, and obviously those are a lot easier to sell because they basically cost you nothing than sets where you put some money in and you wanna make sure that you get a solid return on investment. So let's dive right in and go through them. First one sold is 75248 from Star Wars Episode 9. And you see the $30 right here. That's what I listed it for. And as expected, Episode 9, most of these sets are not going to sell for very much money. Here's my Facebook announcement. I did sell it locally. And here are the pictures that I took. The box is in pretty good condition overall. It's got the thumb tabs to open it up. Here are some of the spines of the box. And then one little dented corner, but not too bad. According to Brick Set, this one came out in 20. 2019 retired in 2020 to me the starship doesn't look great even though i wasn't able to sell this set for much and you'll see in a second i barely made any profit i still didn't want this one in my collection the only interest really is just the minifigures and they are okay lieutenant Conix is fine but kind of plain i do like the snap wexley minifigure always a fun character in the movies and shows looks really good here the helmets and the printing and the other starfighter pilots are good so of the 35 dollar value that brick set has here for a new copy of of this set, I would have thought that the minifigures would have been a good chunk of that, but according to Brick Economy, they're only 12 or $13 together. I did throw Snap Wexley into Brick Economy to look at any other minifigures, and it's only one other of him. I have no idea or can't remember if there have been any rumors or talk of another Snap Wexley coming out sometime in the future. They both look good to me, but they're just not pulling much value. So like I said, Brick Set is estimating $35 after fees and shipping if you do sell it online. I found that the value that Brick Set puts for a new set is pretty pretty accurate on average. Sometimes they'll be a little higher low, but again, on average across a bunch of different sets, it seems like the number on brick set is pretty accurate if you subtract out any shipping and fees. And of course, if you sell locally, your local buyers know that you don't have to pay shipping and fees. And so they're going to be expecting a lower price that's more comparable with if you were to sell it on eBay and what your total take would be after all of those shipping and fees. And landing with a big thud, here is a summary on how I did with this set. I bought it for $15 in 2021. I sold it for 20 for a grand old profit of $5 and a 33% ROI. So I got nowhere close to the $35 that Brick Set estimated. And at 20 bucks, like I said, I probably could have kept it for myself, but you gotta start to thin the herd. And this is one that just didn't fit in my collection. And I did sell it with a much larger set from one of the previous videos. And honestly, I forget which one that was. So it did help me make that sale there. And just for curiosity, I pulled up the other episode nine sets. There are 11 of them total on Brick Set. The best one is Kylo Ren Shuttle. I have that. I loved building it. The action features are great with how the wings fold in and collapse down. The minifigures are awesome. $130 MSRP and $153. Obviously, if people were able to pick it up for $90 or $100, then it's okay. And I forget how low this price went during good sales. But the rest of these sets are a pretty good disappointment. The Millennium Falcon that sounds like it's retiring at the end of 2024. Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter is down from, oh, never mind. It's 90 to 90, so it's flat. D O is flat. The Sith TIE Fighter is down 10 bucks. The Resistance Y Wing Starfighter is down about five bucks. The Knights of Ren transport ship that didn't have any Knights of Ren or many to speak of is down about eight bucks. And then the Pisana Speeder Chase is flat. Here's the set I just sold a small Sith Trooper battle pack. I do have one of those and then a tiny set. So overall, the lesson here is that Episode 9 sets so far have basically done nothing on the secondary market. Next one I sold is another Star Wars set with very low popularity and interest. This is Moloch's Landspeeder 75210. Again, I sold it locally on Marketplace. Here are the pictures I took. The box was in great condition for this one. Brick set says $38 new. MSRP was $40, so basically flat. It retired in 2019. The ship, or kind of more realistically, the futuristic car is just a block, so not great even though the scene in the movie was kind of cool, I actually liked Solo okay. And so the scene with this one and Solo,
Solos, similar looking, I think it was blue land speeder where they were chasing around on the little hovercrafts basically was kind of cool. The minifigures in this set are pretty good, like Rebolts, details and printing are nice. And then same with Mox, the headpiece mold is great, but I don't really like either of the minifigures. I didn't like Mulk that much in the movie, but still they are definitely unique and I don't think there are any others of either of these that have been produced. If we look on Brick Economy, Rebolt is $5, but Mock is almost $20. And while we're here, let's just put Rebolt into the search bar. Yep, just one minifigure. And same thing, let's check Mock. And three sets, so they're unrelated. So just one Star Wars set, and it looks like a couple of dinosaur related sets. And again, just the one minifigure. Overall summary, I did slightly better, bought it for $20 in 2020. And after a four year hold time, I sold it for $30, $10 profit and a 50% return on investment. Again, another one that did not fit my collection. I didn't want the minifigures that much, so I was happy to sell it to somebody that wanted it a little bit more. And also for giggles for this one, I want to check all the other sets on Brick Set that were from the same movie. We've got the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon, 170 to 208, eh, a little better. The Imperial TIE Fighter, $70 to 165, that makes sense. The Convex Transport, pretty cool scene in the movie, 90 to 148 also makes sense. If you remember, I think it was two videos ago. Well, two videos ago where I went through sets that I sold recently. So I think it was in the first one. I sold 75209, the Imperial AT hauler, and this one 100 to 108, but it was on sale a lot. The swoop bikes aren't anything special, just up $10. And then here's the couple, yep, the blue land speeder, with a couple of land speeders that are not doing anything special. And then the little battle pack that's eh, 15 to 27 and then just some poly bag type stuff so the values of these sets kind of trends because solo was a little better of a movie than episode 9 in my opinion and there's a little bit more popularity around these especially these two we hadn't had a good tie fighter in a while at this scale so that's a nice one and some very good mini figures and then the convex transport also some good mini figures but a unique and different looking star wars type vehicle and ship third one i sold is 40580 the blacktron cruiser gift with purchase. This one I sold on eBay. So here are the pictures that I took in my garage against a white piece of poster board and very good condition on this box. Obviously, I didn't have it very long because this was a 2023 gift with purchase. Since I was mailing it, I want to show pictures of it all nicely packed up in there so it wouldn't get dented. And so that's the whole set of pictures on brick set. $31 new weird main image. So let's go to the box, which we already saw. And then the back of the box shows how you can do some different things with it. Here's my sales summary. Obviously, it cost me nothing other than the threshold price at lego.com. Sold it for 41. That includes the taxes that just passes through me, the eBay collects, the shipping and the fees. The shipping and fees together were 14. So after doing all the math, my profit was 24. And since we'd be dividing by zero to calculate a return on investment, then I just come up with funny words that are synonyms to infinity or a lot. So in this case, it's a mega percent return on investment. Here's my online order when I picked up this set i got one of the modular police stations 200 dollars. one of the disney hunter celebration brickheads for on sale 28 dollars. so 228 dollars got the black tron cruiser and then i also got this terrible bionicle tahu and taka i think sorry if i mispronounced that we were all excited about a bionicle gift with purchase they were giving us bionicle fans some catnip and then once we saw it release and got our hands on it we realized it was very stale catnip not a good set but this purchase overall was about about 230 and of the 230 I already got 24 of it back by selling the Blacktron Cruiser so that's about 10% on this one and I've actually had this Bionicle set listed for a while and there's been very few clicks or interest on it I bet at the end I get 10 or 15 dollars out of this adding the two gifts with purchase on this one I'll get about 15% back and the goal is to get about 20% back of your purchase from the gifts with purchase these two didn't work out quite as well as we had hoped but still better than nothing and here's the next set I sold and oh it's another Black Tron Cruiser, I ended up having two of these at least, maybe a third, no, two of these, and I had four of the Majesto's Magical Workshop that we'll look at in a little while. And oh, a bunch of the sets that I sold in this go around are, like I said, up front gifts with purchase. I sold this one locally, so here's my Facebook post with all of the same images. And here's my summary sheet. This time it was a $25 profit, so $1 better than the last, and it's a whopping percent return on investment. Next sold set was this very small Adidas original sneaker in the mini version 40486 i sold it locally
globally on marketplace here the picture is very small box but a good looking box i like the front design i actually advertise the back of the box as the main picture other than the picture that i got offline just because that shows the set but the front of the box does look really cool those three stitched white stripes are iconic i used to wear sambas all the time growing up played a lot of soccer and other sports more pictures of the box all very good condition brick set says that it's going for about 20 dollars new and in this scale the sneaker looks pretty decent but to me the minifigure is the fun part that i certainly liked the most so let's look on the minifigure oh that is a naked minifigure wait a sec i didn't realize that that's a sticker not a print oh that is a sticker well still nice but that would have been really cool if that was a print i guess i should have expected that yeah so it's kind of funny they're showing the minifigure like this because that is of no interest and no value but when you look at them with the sticker on there it looks pretty good now i do want to point out that i did not get this gift with purchase by buying this adidas original superstar single shoe set for 80 dollars. i didn't buy it at all at any price but it was 80 dollars msrp and now it is only going for 66 dollars. we knew this was going to be a terrible set once we saw the picture you only get one shoe maybe if you got two shoes maybe if the shape of the shoe was a lot better good try by lego i like them pushing the envelope and trying different things but this one just didn't work out and i really wanted you guys to know that i did not make this purchase i didn't want any bad rumors starting about me since i was talking about this nice little gwp set no i'm kind of kidding around but it is worth pointing out that a lot of people were linking these two up and this one just ended up being a bust my sales summary is i sold it for 20 dollars right on the nose as to what brick set was saying another gwp 40598 harry potter gringotts vault and i sold one of these in my last video like this i had two and i have sold two and this one i sold online here are the pictures i took the same ones as last time another box in great condition lego has been sending me good stuff for the most part this year and so i appreciate that but this is a cool set and there it is starting to get packed up all nice in the box closed up ready to go i like it a lot but it's just not for me because i was never going to get the very large gringotts bank set that this one connects up with it's just way too big for me we like some of the harry potter sets my sons both like them a lot and they've told me a few times they would like this set but even they after looking at it for a while they're like man it's so big it would take up so much space what would we would do with it and they'd rather have a bunch of harry potter play scale size sets for the same price and the same space and the same or more build experience than this one set but i do like what lego did here where they made this as an add-on so there's the gift with purchase it connects right on as one more vault as they go down the basically mine cart to all the different vaults so i like what they did here i actually don't like how the two are connected i'd much rather just have the bank itself as a separate set and then maybe not have the vault area or have a different kind of set for the vault area maybe like a shadow box type thing like they did with the bat cave set that could have been interesting but not my favorite together but i like the idea with all these vaults my vault is about 10 more loops down maybe even 100 more loops down but unfortunately there's nothing in that vault of mine brick set says this gwp is 42 dollars my summary is i sold it for 54 after shipping and fees and then taxes which i didn't show here my profit was 35 dollars so a little bit shy of the 42 dollars the other one i sold i think my profit was like 38 or 39 dollars so that's okay i probably could have done and should have done a little bit better but you win some and you lose some and you just keep on moving forward and finding more sets that are on good discounts and likely to grow in value and then keep on selling more sets this is 40595 the ideas tribute to galileo and this is a set that i like i really debated on keeping it but i was glad to sell it but you know i like the dioramas i like sets that are related to science and history and have a cerebral component to them but again you can't have them all and i would rather turn this one over for some cash to put towards more investments i sold it on ebay here are the pictures i took nice box it's got the tape even though it's a pretty small box so that's nice about this one and then nice spine with the box art on the side and then the rest of the box and i like that basically schematic there behind galileo's name packed in the box and all ready to be shipped here on brick set yeah see it's a really nice one the printed globe is nice telescope with some foliage nice sticker of the leaning tower the earth and the sun orbit each other and some more nice scientific instruments and tools for his work the designer the original fan designer and lego did a fantastic job with this set definitely one of my favorite gifts with purchase of 2023 here's a few others from 2023 it's not the full list but we had the star wars gwp and naturally it's doing pretty well because it's star wars but no minifigure with it which was disappointment we already talked about this one the world of wonders was not a set 
I was too excited about. Same thing with the moving truck. I think I have, yeah, Brickset says I have one. I think that's accurate. But then this one here. So we scroll through and then the Bionicle set we talked about at a whopping $19. So of the ones that are tagged promotional here on Brickset, the Galileo Tribute is absolutely a standout. Brickset says a new value of $28. On eBay, I sold it for $38. And after shipping and fees, I took home $22. So still not quite hitting the brick set price, but I did okay at least. Here's the order I put in to get the set. Two of the Battle of Endor heroes at full price. Nuts. That's been on sale. But also two each of Llama, Zombie, and Alex. Really excited I picked those up. I have six total of each of those. So that worked out to $80, and it looks like another $60, so $140. And then the GWP was $22. So that's about 15% of what I paid in this order. Next up is 40601. I think I've talked about this set in each of my two previous videos where I've gone through sets that I've sold. And so I think this is the third one total. Sold it locally again and sold it for $30. So all three of them I've sold locally and sold for $30. Here are the pictures again. Beautiful box. I love the throwback style of the box art and of course of the set itself. Brick set says $33. And like I said, I sold it for $30 locally. Pretty happy about that. Here's the order I put in to get one of these. One blacksmith at $145. Two more Battle Endor Heroes at full price. One Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama at full price. Luckily, most of these that I picked up, I got on the first sale. And then I picked up a few more at that 40% off. But total was, let's see here, I'll round up to 150 and then another 80, 110. So 250, I think, was the threshold for Majesto's Magical Workshop, if I recall. And I think it was about 255 that I spent on this purchase. So getting $30 is just over 10% of the total I spent on this order. Still not as good as I would be hoping for, but at least this one is a little bit more valuable. A tiny GWP that was kind of a bust, but it's the second one I've sold. Sold them both locally at $15. This is the Creator Scary Pirate Island 40597. All the pictures I took. Nice box art on this one. And even though the set wasn't overly popular, I actually kind of like it. It's simple, but it's cool. Good idea. Shark mouth that's basically a rock formation, a little bit of structure in the back. The bat is kind of cool. And then a little treasure and then a tiny little raft, but a good pirate minifigure. Brick set says $16. I sold it for $15, so not too bad. Here's the order I put in to get it. This set is Bird's Nest. I know my face is covering up the picture of that one. At $10, one of the Monkey Kid staff creations, one of the Chinese New Year pandas, and one of the Monkey Kid Dragon of the East sets. So that was 60, 70, 80, and another 30, so 110, 15 bucks back. Not too bad for a GWP that really wasn't that substantial. Two more sets to go. This is the last of the GWPs from this video. Tons of GWPs. Glad to clear a bunch of them out. The 40355 Year of the Rat. Sold it on eBay. Here are my pictures. Tiny little box, but a cool little set. If we look at them, I'm sorting Chinese Traditional New Year Festival on brick set. There's 28 total, but of course not all of them are the year of sets, but I'm sorting them by highest value to lowest. So let's scroll down here. And the first one is Year of the Monkey from 2016. It's $120. That's amazing. Don't get your hopes up. But Year of the Snake, $100 from 2013. Also amazing. Year of the Sheep from 2015 is $40. Year of the Rooster is $38. And then it really starts to drop off. Year of the Dog is $30. Year of the Pig has no price, but it does say RP is $10. Here's Year of the Rat that I just sold. Year of the Dragon is this year's, and it actually looks pretty good. I like all the detail and color. Year of the Tiger is $10. Year of the rabbit is under $10. Year of the ox is under $9. Some of the older ones were really good, obviously, but the value on these has tailed off heavily. Here's my sales summary, $25 on eBay, including the taxes that passed through, the shipping and the fees. The shipping and fees were $9, so my profit was $16. So actually, that's pretty good for this one. I'm pleased about that. And then last one from this video are two Harry Potter Hogwarts Moments book sets, you know, the classroom book sets. DG Bricks has been drilling into my head on our podcast podcast to do the bundle. And so I said to myself, I got to sell these two together, show them that I can do the bundle. It's not something I've been great at. And honestly, I kind of forget to do it. I don't think about it. So I was glad to think about it on this one and make it happen. Here are the pictures on eBay. 
I like both of these sets. I actually like the whole collection. The Herbology class 76384 by far was the most popular. Charms class is basically worth the MSRP price. But here they are all packed up and I've already shipped those out. And if we look at brick set Herbology retailed for $30 and it's going for $50 and it makes sense. Great detail, great foliage, good minifig. I got this wrong last time, but this is Professor Sprout. And I forget if we've got her before. I'm gonna put in Brick Economy and see. Yep, we've had two other versions and the one from this set is valued at $4. And then the other set I sold in this bundle was the Charms class retailed for 30 and Brick set says $33. Pretty blocky and plain, so totally makes sense that this one is not too exciting on the secondary market, but this one is actually getting some traction but the good news is I didn't pay retail for either of these because they were so unpopular. You could get them on a great discount. I think they were actually 13 and some change with a little yellow clearance sticker. So I rounded up to cover the sales tax. I always round these off anyways, just to make the numbers easier. And I always round up a little bit to make sure I account for the sales tax. So I think that the numbers that I provide, like the profits that I provide are more conservative so that you know, I'm not misleading or misdirecting on what we all should be expecting to get get for these sets on average my profit is maybe you know another 50 cents or do dollar more so 15 each 30 dollar buy-in price sold them for 108 on ebay shipping and fees was 30 so after all the math my profit was 47 dollars and finally a good return on investment 158 percent all right as you can tell i really enjoy making these kinds of videos you know a little more relaxed and just talking about things that have already happened and what i think about the sets and give you guys some ideas if you have the same or similar sets and you're thinking about selling them at some point. I like to show when I have a pretty good ROI and I also like to show when things don't go as well and you just kind of cut your losses and decide, hey, I know I'm not getting much, but I don't want this box around anymore and I don't want to build a set for my own collection. So it's time to get it on to somebody who will appreciate a lot more of me and recoup a little bit of the money and put it towards other sets that hopefully will do better as an investment. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Kevin with KDX Bricks Analytics. That's a wrap and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget, my videos are for entertainment purposes only. I do not provide financial advice. You got to get that from somebody else.